What's good with y'all boys, man? I hope y'all are staying blessed as always, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, in today's video, I'm on Thickums, and Thickums is my pure lock build. This is how I made my pure lock 6-6. I have a build video breaking down how I made this build on the channel but in today's video i pulled up on a pretty big win streak and I, not only me i was playing decent defense but there was also another good defender and it was just perfect footage for me to actually break down what's going through my head whenever i play lockdown on this game now if you guys are new to the channel i did play pure lockdown last year in pro M and did win three different leagues i had got a good bit of money out of them so i do have that experience there going up against some of the top guards that were on the game last year real quick i'm gonna go through settings and badges and we're gonna get into the gameplay i use late shot timing not that that matters with defense, but a lot of y'all be asking. I use who to guard off now. Defense assist strength. This bounces from 0 to 15. Sometimes I use 5. Sometimes I use 10. Sometimes I use 15. Sometimes I use 0. But it pretty much bounces around there. Last year I used 0. This year I'm kind of just using 10. Just messing around. And this is what my, you know, my passing settings are looking like. Openness already kick up to 32. Just because. Now for defensive badges, this builds a beast on defense. I'm not going to lie. The 6-6 six, six is the way, bro. The, the Hall of Fame Challenger, which I swear doesn't work, but I'm not going to take it off because just I'm a lockdown. I have to play the best defense on the team. So if it does do something, I'm going to need it, bro. Hoff Challenger, Hoff Clamps, Hoff Glove. Y'all know how that goes. Hoff Pick Dodger because, you know, if we're playing fives, they're probably going to be setting screens. Gold Chase Down Arms, Bronze Anchor. That really ain't going crazy. But like I said, I'm usually playing up top in the fives on this build. Silver Workhorse, you really do want this, you know, Hall of Fame. I ain't going to lie, so you might have to do that. Menace is not that good of a badge this year. Menace only kicks in whenever you have contact on somebody. And how often do you really have contact on somebody? But whenever you do have contact on somebody, you know, you get the Hall of Fame clamps and you are a little sticky. Whenever you do get that contact, then Menace will kick in. Then that will drop their ball handle. And that's how people get. That's how a lot of people are getting these cross body steals that you see this year. So that's a little tip off the rip, bro. Put Menace on, get the body up and, you know, press X whenever you get contact. You're going to get cross body steals just because you're dropping down their ball handle. But if I'm playing up top in a zone and wreck i'm not even gonna have chase down or anchor on so you, you can put on this other stuff you know ankle braces you know maybe box out off ball pass whatever it is bro and you know obviously maxing out this you usually do want this maxed out it's just you know pissing me off today so i just have that silver now take over this is a big thing that you know people are just overlooking because it, it's just so overlooked this year now perimeter badge drop you want this over all the other badges because not only does it lower down their unpluggable so your half glove works even better but it also goes it buffs down their handles for days so they're gonna get more tired faster leading to more steel again i'm putting you on game within the first couple minutes of this video and decelerator is just the opposite of accelerator y'all know how that goes but you got takeover whether it's single or double you're lowering down their unpluckable and a lot of people only have gold so you're lowering down to silver or bronze a lot of people only have silver handles for days so you're lowering that down to bronze or none they're gonna get tired at once they get up the court and that's gonna be easy steals bro but that's for the settings and badges and stuff and just me explaining you know why i got the shit that i got on in case y'all didn't know because a lot of this d defense stuff does get overlooked by a lot of people because people are just stressing out about making demigods and then whenever they make the demigods they're wondering why they're getting scored on so much let's go ahead and get in the gameplay because it's gonna be a lot to talk about before the video starts i wanted to let y'all know that i'm able to plug y'all up with a 20 percent discount on nba 2k labs premium membership 2k labs test everything within the game and the premium membership will basically give you the secret sauce the exact green window size the release speed the make percentage all of that in this premium membership and i got y'all with 20 percent off just go ahead and use the code codes at checkout or go ahead to the top link down in the description it's it's like five bucks y'all and y'all will be way better off shooting after you dive in to what they got in store for y'all but let's go ahead and get into the video all right so pretty much the lineup jay from c4 if y'all don't know that's the man that beat me whenever i was streaming with laker and uh spillboy and then we got my man biz he's a really good lockdown that's the other good lockdown i'm gonna be breaking out in this video and then we pulled up on they hit me up to pull up on a 10 game win streak I didn't even know that man, No Limit CJ was on the 10 game win streak, but everybody's just bullshit and they're just playing casually. But you see the flaming ball, I'm not capping, and we I'ma break down how me and Biz, you know, get to work, right? So off the off the rip, this man's gonna go corner, they're gonna ISO out, and I'm gonna switch on to, to CJ right here. And I know he got a crossover because there's not gonna be any room over here with this man running over here. So I know he got a crossover and come back to the middle. Also, I gotta play in the middle, but he doesn't end up like this dude really should have just wrapped and went to corner and like let them iso but or let him iso up top but I, I guess you know he thought he was gonna go all the way over there so he tried dipping over here the bad spacing this is bad spacing and it just makes defense so much easier so again he crosses over right here 
I reach, and that's not even a pluck steal. This is a skilled steal, bro. <laughs> so I get the pinch, the blitz off right there. And then, you know, I get the ball to my man, Jay, right here. And again, this is simple, right? So I give it to the point guard, right? I could have passed it to Biz. Yeah, probably got a three, but I wasn't even looking. I ain't gonna lie. But look, 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 look. This is simple right here. Jay is going to run to the corner and he's not going to stop. I eventually read that he's not going to stop. And I don't want to clog, you know, this right here. So I'm going to float up to the top, you know, float up to the top right here. And then he is going to hit a good walk back move in the corner. So this, is, you know, this defender right here isn't close enough to contest because I ended up fading out here. And that is a good W shot wide open. Doesn't go, but, you know, it's a good open shot. So they get bored, bro. And I'm, you know, focused on this dude. Let me pause this right here. And then we got the 6-1 guard garden ball. You never want that to happen, right? So I'm going to try to, you know, come out of corner. I'm a, I see he's driving right here. I'm going to sprint over here, but I have no intentions of actually helping him play in defense. I'm trying to bait a pass. So I'm going to go at an angle. I'm not going to go at a sharp angle where it's like that and then like that because, you know, your player has to completely stop, but then he has to, you know, put all his momentum from going that way to that way, and it's going to give you a slow in the mud type of run. But instead, I'm going to go run curved here. So I'm not going to lose any, you know, any, you know, real speed there. And then pretty much what I did was I walked towards him right here. I walked towards him without sprinting, right? I kind of like jogged toward him and then I sprint out. Now, my man Biz actually did fully help right here. And now um, he ends up getting this nasty block. He sends that. And this is the first time me and Jay played together. So pretty much hit me faking the contest. He thought I was going to swing. And what, what a swing is, is basically the corner he's running to. This defender will drop down and play interior paint. And then this dude, this defender will float to the to the corner. And that's what Jay thought I was going to do, but we just don't have that chemistry. This is the first game we've ever played with each other. Now, look, playing, you know, lockdown for the team. I mean, me and Biz are both lockdowns and we're both capable of guarding ball. But as an on-ball lock, you're going to want to stay in the middle as much as possible. Because that's mainly whenever, wherever the ball is going to go. So, you know, this dude cuts over here. We're going to play sides on that. Pretty much I can cut him off. And then if I do force him to pass... I can force him to pass just like that. And then, you know, sometimes, you know, passing lane steals are a little weird this year. But sometimes that lockdown can play for that steal right there. Again, this man's coming this way. You know, Biz has him, you know, bumped on one side. And I can come in for a blitz right here. But what I'm doing right now is I'm just faking the blitz because I'm worried about the three more than I am the two. They can take twos all they want. I live and die by the three, bro. So pretty much I'm going to jog that way. And then I'm going to come around at a good angle and then sprint back towards my guy and that forces a pass that could have maybe been a bucket maybe he euro stepped or hop stepped but you know i forced the pass and now the on ball lock is guarding ball again and little stuff like that wins games that isn't on the stat sheet and isn't talked about enough so look at this i'm faking the blitz come back out boom and then i'm still sitting on it i'm sitting on it i know people want to get to the paint i'm sitting on it clocks winding down they have to take a contested fade. Me and Biz both get box out. Make sure y'all are getting your box outs, bro. Because boards, <laughs> like, y'all ain't getting no boards and you wonder why you're losing. But you're going to see and CJ, he plays really good defense right here. Jay's going to call a cut with the clock winding down and it just doesn't go in. You're going to see, I catch a lot of grenades. I think I shoot, I shoot pretty bad this game. I catch a lot of grenades. But he hits the Asta. He should have really went with it. He resets. I know, listen, bro. People want to get to the rim. Stop them from getting to the rim. Sit on everything. Sit back right here, bro. Sit back right here. Now, look, 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 bro. If I'm not stupid right there, look, bro. I know he wants to get to the rim. But since, you know, I'm coming out, he goes right here. I come out a little bit instead of going right back there, bro. Like, I could have, instead of stopping right here, I should have followed him right here and cut him off. Because I'm thinking he's going to shoot a mid-range or something just out of habit. You know, bad habits from previous years where people would fade and stuff like that. People just want to get to the rim, bro. They is not shooting that. Sit, paint, and cut them off from getting to the rim. That man CJ gets a steal. His build is cracked, by the way. And then they're up four zip off the rip. Okay, I want to break this down, too, because especially in fives and rec, especially in fives and rec, but even in the park, bro, I'm going to play his... I see their spacing's bad right here. This dude should already be set up in the corner, bro. But since he's not... My man Biz can help out a little bit. Look, I'm going to play his right hand. So he has to go this way. If he crosses back this way, he's going to cross over into me. And I'm going to probably get that steal. So I'm going to play his right hand. And that pretty much just pushes him towards a help defender. That if, you know, if he wants to go for a blitz there, he could. But just always push the, the ball handler to a help defender. Look at that. He's getting smushed. He puts, you know, I, I put him. And a really good position for Biz to play help defense. And then he has to kick it out because he thinks he's getting doubled. But 
my man biz in the lane with it so pretty much the closer you drive the the ball handler to another help defender the easier it is for that help defender to play help defense i'm pushing him closer to him so it's not like he has to run all the way across the court to actually help he can fake help and still get back because the court is smaller over here but just like that we go on a 7-0 run now just like last possession bro i keep pushing him over here there's no help defender over there but i know he, i'm like I'm forcing him to go that way, and he's going to go that way. So why don't I just jump over here and do my own little blitz here? He actually stops right there, squared off. I'm going to go ahead and reach for that with the Hoff Unpluck or the Hoff Glove. You know how that goes this year. Now 7-4, Jay hits the walk back. CJ's going to play good defense all game. They end up shooting it. Now my my build, it got the it got the the hops for the for the rebounds. You see I lag a little bit there. But... The, the tough thing about my build is it has no low ball control, so I can't really be running sh around with the ball in my hands. I just got to reset the best way I can. But that offensive rebound gives us an extra possession. Y'all be sleeping on offensive rebounds, bro. I'm telling you. But clock's winding down, bro. The catch and shoot wasn't there. I try to hit, shoot the fade. That fade's there if it's not first game on. I swear that fade's green. I'm playing for the Austin awesome slide. I actually don't get the steal. And this man, I've been sitting on him all game. He's going to hit me with a step back. And he's gonna be actually green and that's that's tough as a lot you cannot let up threes as a log bro you cannot let up threes but you also want to sit on everything this year because that's all people want to do is get to the paint so it's just a you know it's a game you gotta play now look at this man this is the first game me and biz played together bro but just like even even playing with him and just going back and watching the footage it's just clear to tell that like it's actually locked down with common sense and when actually when you get two good lockdowns good lockdowns are disguised this year because our steals are overpowered but when actually you actually get two good lockdowns on the same court that know how to play defense, look, he beats me way too much here. I tried to, um, I got stuck trying to reach for the steal. You see right here, he's going to cross over into me. And then, you know, I just press X. Didn't get the steal, but it froze me just enough for him to beat me. He beat me way too much. So pretty much he's going to swing here. He's going to drop down right here. And then I'm actually going to swing late because I'm not used to people swinging. But I see the swing, you know, not a hard angle here. So I'm able to sprint out since this layup is contested. The pass isn't clean. So it's going to bounce off his hands again. He's going to try to run this to the top because people want to ISO up top. A lot of people can't ISO out the corner. They're either going to go baseline or they're going to go back up top. Whenever he goes up top, he pretty much, you know, reveals the ball. And that's, you know, the behind the back steal animations are just so consistent this year. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I don't want to dribble on this build though because I got the low ball control. They will rip me and we just get the fast break point right there. Now this possession is perfect, bro. Now he's stuck right here. You know, we got Jay back though. Jay's, you know, playing good back, but their spacing is kind of bad. And even like the off ball movement, off ball defense is so underrated, bro. You got to look at this, bro. So I'm going to play middle because I'm the on ball lock. Usually they always dish it to the middle. So whenever this man cuts in or this man fades to corner, cuts in, fades to corner, I'm still, I'm just going to pick up this dude and just play middle just so I'm closer to the ball. Now there's no reason to just full on switch this because he's a lockdown. He can handle himself. And even if it is, you know, a 6-1 guard over here, we're not just going to force a switch, you know, because, you know, forcing a switch, you give up easy buckets. But look, he's going to go to the corner. I'm going to still be playing help defense. Make sure this man knows I'm present over here. He's going to feel like he got two locks on him. And pretty much when this dude comes over the top, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be able to play help defense on both sides playing middle. Now they end up throwing it to the corner where Jay's at R6-1. And look, I'm pretty much just running. And this man's going to feel like he's getting doubled. But I got this man covered, bro. I'm pretty much just running. Look, look, this man is doubled. He's cut off. But I'm still just running around, just giving this man pressure while I'm still guarding my mans. You feel me? Now, the worst thing you do is help too much and give up a three. You just can't do that. You just got to help just enough. You got to figure it out. You're going to mess up sometimes figuring out your shit. But you got to figure it out and do your thing. Now, let me show you all. Let me teach you all another thing. It's every single time, right? So Biz got middle right here. As soon as somebody gets this animation, this dude's out of adrenaline, right? And you get this animation whenever you're out of adrenaline right there. When as soon as you see that, somebody's cutting every single time. Park, wreck, doesn't matter. As soon as you see that animation, somebody's going to cut, bro. So as soon as he gets that animation, you see them both just move. My man CJ going back door. He goes to cut, but he sees CJ cutting. So he's going to fade out. They're going to end up uh, cutting on the 6-1. And they're going to get an easy bucket. You know, when that man's out of stamina or when that man's out of adrenaline. If somebody's out of adrenaline, expect the cut off the rip. Now, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use CJ as <laughs> my tips <laughs> guy right now. Look, look, look. Anytime, so he's bumping him over here. Anytime, you know, they get this animation when they have to cross over, you you know, you reach right there. But especially when you're behind them, bro. When you're behind them on the uh the ball hand, bro, 
you're gonna see he's gonna get a little you know he gets crabbed behind him right here the ball's in his left hand this is the perfect time to reach whenever you're in this position reach every single time bro this reach it this steal animation is so consistent he gets that he gets that to go for him and that's you know an easy fast break bucket now that man biz got a block earlier the man got locked take so i'm gonna let him take middle and then i'm gonna play you know a side a corner and i'm gonna do still be doing my pressure help defense type of thing right here right he comes right here my man's right here please the the shorter the the worse the spacing is the easier it is for the defense to play help defense my man's right here i can come over here and pressure this man i reach I don't get the steal. He gets by me. But look, my man Biz with the lock take getting a chase down <laughs> again. We're resetting and all is good. Boom, I'm playing back because my man Biz got the lock take. He goes right up to the ball. Whenever you got lock take, bro, especially when somebody squared up to you, reach absolutely every single time. 100% of the time, bro, reach. And y'all see me as soon as I touch the ball. That man, I'm pretty sure CJ got a 95 steal. It's, it's a wrap if I touch the ball around that man. But I got to reset that. Hey, my man Jay, he's going to run out of adrenaline right here. He tries to die right here. Close out real good. I'm going to try to make a play out the corner. I should have really faded up here. But I take it back to the corner. Try to make a fade, go up. And then my man Biz got his inside positioning. Unlucky, they get the block. And then they're, they're gone just like that. And he's making the contested mid-range. But the more you can make plays out the corner, the more pressure you'll take off the guard. So look at that man CJ just being a menace. The more you can make plays, the more dominant you can be offensively out the corner, the more pressure you can take off off the guard because the guards do deal with a lot of pressure, especially in competitive games like this. See, look, they're up 17-16 they're up right now, late game, bro. He's going to dish it to Biz, and Biz, instead of just resetting it, he's going to try to make a play. The baseline's open. He gets the two right there, 18-17. That takes a lot more pressure off my man Jay. And look at Biz go to work, bro, on the inbound. I'm running away from the defender. It's just... Just trying to avoid the steal. We're going to give him the left side of the court. He's going to do the walk back thing he did in the corner. At the beginning of the game, he's going to fake it and then take the dunk. That's 2017. Now, look at this play right here. This is old board. He hop steps. He doesn't real, really feel comfortable taking that. I get the ball. I just reset it up here, making sure he's not in the lanes. He shoots a catch and shoot. Look at this. Over my mans, bro. That's Thickums right there. <laughs> All right. I try to see if he gives me the baseline. He doesn't. Just reset it real quick before he gets a chance to reach. I'm going to fade up to here. You know, the clock's running down. I got to take another fade, and that's contested. I told you I caught a lot of grenades this game. But back on defense, I go ahead and foul because it's 17-20. We get, you know, reset now, and it's a way better look. A lot of times you get a foul on a fast break. Now, right here, it's 17-20. I'm playing super high. I'm not sitting on everything no more. I don't care if he gets a two. I cannot let this man get a three. So I'm playing super, super high. If he blows by me, I do not care, bro. He can have that too. And then, you know, you see him trying to force the three. Doesn't go. But, you know, that that cut on the uh, the 6-1 guard is going to work a lot of the time. Right here, we try to get the game over real quick. He's going to call Biz on a back door right here. It's not there. He dots it corner. Look, and this man... He's running at me. If I don't drop nuts right here and shoot that, it's, it's a bad look. We only got 13. We got to reset. They might score next possession. But I dropped my nuts so so far. They hit the floor. Heard them. I heard the thud when it hit the floor. It's That's wide open. A lot of y'all just got to drop nuts and shoot the ball, bro. Because the shots ain't going to be contested as much as you think it is, bro. But that that's the, the, the GG. Um, you know, like I said, I, I caught a lot of grenades that game and had to, you know, force a place. But that's a, that's a GG. You don't get games like that. But I hope you guys learned something, you know, defensively this game, especially off ball. It's heavily underrated. On ball steals underrated. A lot of people are just going around pressing X on ball, getting plucked steals and thinking they're, you know, playing good defense. You guys got to get your positioning right. Off ball, you know, help defense, right? You got to get your settings right. Your bad is right. And you will be looking a lot better. And if you're playing defense a lot better, the game will ultimately be more enjoyable. But if this video helped you out, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, I'll go ahead and catch you on the next video or stream.